All right, look what I found, a PlayStation 1. It's only 2,400 yen, it's like 21, 22 dollars. Two controllers, one analog. It's the SCPH 7000 version, so one of the kind of a newest version of the PlayStation. Pretty nice condition, not mint, but really, really good. And I don't think you can beat the price, 21, 22 dollars. I'm definitely gonna buy this today. Uh, by the way, I'm in uh, uh, Heart of Tachikawa Sakai if you want the address and uh, let's explore around you have a lot of uh, cheap electronics and retro games Big box of nintendo super famicom about well, 55 dollars 50 dollars with two controllers and looks really really good condition actually look at that amazing boxes also of nintendo 64 about what Let's say $45. Oh, look at that. You have four controllers. Four controllers. 7,000 yen. Uh, I don't know if it's in good condition. My katakana, I need to review my katakana, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it just says four controllers and all that. Here. Uh, we got another PlayStation with the box at $45 with one analog controller. This with the box is pretty cool, but maybe a little bit, maybe, I mean, not too expensive, but, and uh, I don't know which version is it? Oh, 7,000, so the same. That's 7,000. Xbox and all that. We got some PlayStation with Two games to so Rockman Dash 2 and Dash. Don't forget that if you buy uh, PlayStation in Japan, you can only play Japanese video games. I mean, there's a there's a trick to change them. Okay, this is definitely from my childhood. The Sega Saturn, fifty five dollars. Two controllers. Looks pretty decent. And then we have the the other one next to it, the 3,210, two controllers. Yeah, this is the one I'm gonna buy today. What family got? Nintendo got a bunch of controllers about how much? Uh, about eight, nine dollars. Some Wii controllers. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, okay. Look at that. Some analog one PlayStation. Dual shock for about ten dollars, eight, nine dollars. We got some more. Oh, the pink one. Quite cool. It is. Uh, oh, it's more expensive. This is uh, fifteen, sixteen dollars. Same. The one with colors usually a bit more expensive, especially when they are in good condition. But. Uh, some games. Um, uh, I used to use that with my PlayStation 2. The multi tap. Multi tap. It's ten dollars. Not bad as well. Not bad. Good condition. And they have a uh, kind of different boxes, but let's see over there. They have more boxes uh, on the other side. Here we have a bunch of Game Boy games. Here as you can see Super Mario. Oh, we have a Kirby. I don't know how much it costs, but oh, sorry. About five on for four dollars. Four dollars. Uh, maybe a bit expensive. Not so expensive, but a little bit. They have uh, One Piece. This is in Japanese. Oh, Zelda. Some Tetris. Uh, let's see if there are any 
any maybe rare games that they forgot. Three dollars. Baseball games. Uh, have a boxing game, a bit more expensive. It's about uh, eight dollars. Pokemon. Oh, Hello Kitty. Super Mario Land. Well, it's sold pretty much everywhere in Japan. You can find it everywhere. Uh, it will. It is fifteen dollars. Really? Why that much? That is quite expensive. Uh, nothing really rare. Get okay, some uh, Pikachu. Uh, I mean, Pokemon. Don't buy it in Japan, otherwise uh, it's all in Japanese. Uh, I mean, except if you speak Japanese really, really, really well. Oh, Wyoland. Oh, I like this one. This one is one of my favorite games as well, Game Boy. About $4. Look in decent condition. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I get this. And you have more games also. Oh, okay. They have one Hammering Harry. This is a rare game. It was actually never sold in the US. That is pretty cool. I bought one a couple of days ago and it was. Um, I bought it for $13. This one is. Eight nine dollars, but it's not in great condition to be honest. It looks ah, it doesn't look in great condition to be honest. This is worth at least, like I've put a picture here, at least forty to fifty dollars on eBay because it was never sold in the U.S. and it's a it's a great one for collectors actually. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna think about that. But yeah, eight nine dollars for fifty dollars, but it's really not in good condition. So I don't know. I'm gonna think about that. Um, yo, nothing. Super Mario Pill, yeah. And they have one with, uh, they have some with boxes as well. F1 race. About seven dollars, let's say six dollars in the box, which is pretty cool to be honest. Mm. Anything interesting? Not really, as I can see. Uh, not really. Game Gear. Uh, eight dollars from Sega. Yeah, not Game Boy, but Sega. Eight dollars, and then they have some bundles as well. <laughs> Very loud here, but these are some PlayStation One games. It's only three dollars. So what I'm looking for a little bit today is like Crash Bandicoot. I'm looking for maybe a uh, Alien Trilogy. Oh, they have a uh, right, Rockman 3. Um, it is. Three. Oh, wow. Okay, $30. Almost $20, $28. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. Quite expensive. Um, Three hundred dollars. I'm trying to look. Oh, we got some Final Fantasy. This one is a nine. Four, three hundred yen. We get Final Fantasy seven. For ten dollars. Uh, Parasite Eve two. Eight dollars. Uh, they have a bunch of... What do we got here? And they also have PlayStation 2 games, PlayStation 3, 4... Some Famicom games... That's Final Fantasy again... And uh, a bunch of games, like they have a lot, like if, as you can see, like they have a whole bunch of games... 
and also with the boxes which is pretty cool like look at all the boxes if you're a super famicom game i highly advise you to come here look at it um street fighter two with the box it's in about nine dollars i don't have the super famicom anymore uh, some dragon ball For about fourteen dollars, another Dragon Ball, ten dollars. Anyway, we gotta check all these. Tekken two, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider three, and Crash Bandicoot two. They are all two dollar fifty, two dollar fifty, and Tom, uh, Tomb Raider is about four dollars something. Four dollars, I'd say. So I'm planning to buy them, not to resell, of course, just to just for my own collection. And I'm gonna buy the PlayStation one today, so they will be great in the collection. Okay, here are all the junk boxes where you can find the vinyls, camera, cameras, uh, video games, and consoles. It seems there are already a couple people on the left side and the right side, so gotta wait a little bit before finding some games. Uh, but you can see a lot of vinyls, camera goods, and then uh, oh, we can go maybe there. So we can see those huge boxes with Jesus, it's heavy. You can do 64 controllers. Uh, how much? Five dollars. Uh, oh, we got a color one, five dollars, green one. I think we got the PlayStation maybe somewhere here. Analog for five dollars. Uh, doesn't. It's not too bad, but I want to try to find maybe cheaper. As you can see they have a lot of like junk PlayStation. It's uh, pretty much three dollars. Pretty sure it doesn't work, that's for sure. Uh, they have like a kind of a huge box just of PlayStation here, here too. GameCube. They have some, they have some Famicom. Oh, this one looks so dusty. Oh my god, yes, this is like a bunch of junk. We got more controllers. Can I zoom in yet? Five dollars. This one's not bad at all, actually. Some Super Famicom controllers. Uh, yeah, it's working okay. Not bad. How much is it? Uh, it's about three dollars. Oh, this is really cheap. Uh, not the main condition, but yes. Five dollars. That's pretty cheap, actually. It needs a bit of uh, cleaning. The joystick seems to be working okay. Um, they really have a lot of PlayStation One uh, junk here. That is crazy. Oh, we have. Oh, I try to bond it together. Two thousand yen. Seriously. This is a uh, SP five thousand five hundred. So older version, which is pretty cool. It doesn't look like in bad condition. I don't know why they put it in the junk box. Probably doesn't work. Let's try. Okay, the power is on. Operation unconfirmed. Okay. Well, I guess they just didn't taste. Uh, they didn't test. They didn't test uh, the PlayStation, but uh, maybe it's good condition. I don't know. I'll just put it there for now. I'll just buy the other one. The other one is much better with two controllers. Okay. 
Namco Gun for five dollars. Yeah, they have a lot of controllers here. It's crazy. Like not in bad bad condition. Some they just need cleaning. Uh, Eight dollars. Really really. Also, if you like Game Boy, so you can see they have Game Boy Teal and Grape. It's about oh, it's twenty five dollars. I don't know if it works properly, but that is pretty cheap. And also Game Boy Pocket with with the with the box is thirty five dollars. That is quite cheap actually with a good decent box right there. That's not bad. They have some uh, controllers. Uh, Nintendo DS, Bunch of it. and I think they have a, another one over there. Oh, oh, okay. Look at that. Uh, oh, it's a printer. Okay. Okay. Sixty dollars. Uh, yeah, not. Okay, this is a printer. Okay, cool. I mean, I've never seen that, but uh, that's pretty nice to see. I will definitely look it up. And they have, of course, Game Boy. Let's see if you can see nicely. Thirty dollars. Uh, let me check if they work. All our Game Boys. So this is the berry one. They have two for fifty dollars. They have a. Well, we cannot see, but this is a Hello Kitty uh, Game Boy Pocket for seventy dollars, uh, which is nice, but still quite expensive. They have, um, Atomic Game Boy Colors over there too. Game Boy Pocket again. They have another Game Boy. Uh, $80. DS, a bunch of uh, rare games. Uh, some are like yeah, $70, $100. So if you're a fan of Famicom game, and uh, yeah, please let me know in the comment if you know any rare games here. I mean, Super Metroid is like $15. We got some Dragon Ball over there. Yeah, this store is pretty, pretty cool. And then they have some figurines here and games.